7 William Penn Highway. Turn left. Okay, guys, we got our first trip heading over to the Chipotle. It was about time. We had some crap garbage trips coming in in the meantime. We're also getting a DoorDash. Let me see if I can maybe possibly get that also. And we're also going to pick up the DoorDash. Head northwest toward Mall Boulevard. After Mall Plaza Boulevard. So, right guys. Mall Boulevard, Mall Plaza Boulevard. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto US 22, Business East. Going up and going to pick up this Chipotle first because I got that first. And then we're going to come back down and get the uh, from Annie Brothers right on the Northern Pike. Take the next right onto US 22, right on the East 10 Highway. We're coming around Mall Boulevard now, guys. Heading up to 22 and uh, going for the two pickups to start my day. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Northern Pike. We're looking at probably around 16 bucks between the two trips so far the way that, 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 the, that the fare and the tip sits uh, hope everybody's having a good day out there it's already about 78 degrees here as I'm heading up 22 was sitting there trying to make a video on my body cam and uh, my battery I usually have that thing charged. Uh, it had some battery life on it, but for some reason, a little malfunction, a little technical difficulty, and it wasn't uh, actually filming my video. Which is a shame because I was making a really good video, and uh, so heading up 22 now, guys, uh, on the way to this Chipotle. Pick it up for Charles. In a quarter mile turn left using the left lane. The only thing about that is is they're busy timing there in Chipotle's from about 12 o'clock until 1.30. Hopefully we got no problems getting this and we can zip right back down this way, get to the uh, Permanis for the DoorDash pickup. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Fox Plant Road. As you know, DoorDash doesn't give you a lot of time, guys, to uh after you get that pickup to get to the restaurant but make sure you look at some of the things in there for uh, like the food hasn't been re prepared yet or the order wasn't ready when I got there check off one of those items guys that'll get you an extra so many minutes turn left then turn left as you see I got a string of vehicles in front of me and they're all heading to the Chipotle people are hungry guys so I'm just hoping to get in there and uh, you always got that one person that can't just pull into a parking spot they've got to maneuver themselves and try to back in and it's always those people that don't know You always got them ones that got to back in and whatever, you know. You always got those ones that got to back in and get fancy, you know. I know. Yeah. Pick up on the right. I know the guy was saying the same thing as me, so I'll be right back, guys. Going to retrieve this order. Okay, guys, we got the order for the door uh, for the uh, Uber Eats coming out here now. Back on the 22 to get down the to the right uh, to US 22 Business West. Get down to the Permanis. Pick this DoorDash up. Manny's is down here on the Continue next corner. US 22, business west for half a mile. So hopefully, 
we get the uh, the pickup when we go in there. Sometimes I got a good weight in the Permanis, depending on the amount of people they got in there at the time. There's also a little bit of traffic, so we need to just be uh, safe that way. But anyhow, guys, I had a uh, the, uh, doctor's appointment before I came to do this today with my uh, cardiologist. It was a yearly appointment, and um, I had my uh, yearly cardiologist appointment with uh, Dr. Fogazelski. And uh... okay, guys, pulling into the uh, Permanis here. I'm sorry about that back there. A guy pulled up on his motorcycle and he was blasting loud rap music. And uh, I was just trying to make my video, so I had to stop the video. We're pulling in here now to get this second part of this order here on the uh, DoorDash. So I'm going to run in there and retrieve the order, and I'll be right back with you. Yep, confirm. Okay, guys. The best thing happened, I was heading into the Permanis to get the one pickup, and as I was going in the door, I got another one that was coming through on the app for an add-on, so I ended up with two pickups. So now we got three to deliveries to make here, so we got three trips right off the bat. Uh, heading over to Briarcrest Drive in Monroeville. Head south toward Northern Pike. Take the next right onto Northern Pike, then turn left onto Monroe Street. So we got 10 minutes over to the first customer, 3.7 mile. Take the next left onto Monroe Street, Northern Pike, then sharp left onto Monroeville Boulevard. up around and get on Monroe Boulevard here. Continue for one and a half miles. Get this dropped off. I will be there before long. I have two other drop-offs before yours. Thanks for your patience. So we messaged our Uber Eats customer and uh, we're going to run these uh, two DoorDash to the customers. Got to head over to Briarcrest Drive, straight shot up here guys on Monroeville Boulevard. So anyhow, as I was uh, saying before on my, before that motorcycle came up and started blasting that loud rap music. Uh, had a cardiologist appointment, my yearly appointment with uh, this morning, and uh, so I was at that appointment. That all went well. Uh, shout out to my doctor, uh, Dr. Pogazelski, my cardiologist, and uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, there's just things in life, and you've got to take care of things. To make sure that you're here to be able to keep on doing things you need to be healthy and you need to make sure that uh, you're getting the best care and I couldn't have a better uh, cardiologist if I tried and uh, it's a real blessing to have him as my doctor and um, I am just very pleased with him in every way uh, he's a great guy he's a great doctor and um, I couldn't feel safer and in better hands than with my cardiologist so uh, I appreciate him and thank him so uh, I had that as my yearly appointment and um, I got to make sure that I'm still um, at a point where I can just keep on being active and doing the things that I need to do in my life and not only doing over eats and all uh, door dash and all the time that I've done it but uh, running my YouTube channel is a and having all you guys come aboard each and every day to see my content and my videos means the world to me 
and uh, getting new subscribers almost every day is a new milestone for me, so thank you. They're going to head down Monroeville Boulevard now, guys, as we're moving right along over to these deliveries and uh, heading over to uh, Mossai Boulevard. Drop off trip number one. So we sat in the hot spot for a while, like I said, I was trying to make that video on my um, body cam and uh, had a malfunction, so popped a couple shorts up there on my channel just to say, hey, what's up with you guys, and uh, get trying to get my day started, and then we did, so got fortunate enough to get got three drop-offs in my vehicle uh, in the Jeep Renegade and uh, really glad about that. I'm going to come up here and make a right on the Moss side. Hopefully our second door dash isn't far from this drop-off location. Saying drop-off by 1220. So we're good here. We're 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 twelve fourteen. We just got to get through these lights here. But let the customer know we're on our way. My name is David. I'm your dasher. I'm on my way with your food. East on Northern Pike, then turn right onto Moss Side Boulevard. Take the next right onto Moss Side Boulevard. Use the left two lanes to turn slightly left onto Haymaker Road. Okay, guys, we're going to go down Haymaker Road for this first drop off to Briarcrest. I was just over here this morning when I was at my doctor's, right over here to the left in the professional building. But I'm up and down here all day, guys. Use the left two lanes to all turn over here. Left onto Haymaker Road. The area I work in, Monroeville, is a uh, restaurant mecca. And I delivered all these adjacent towns around here and just everywhere. Turtle Creek, East Pittsburgh, uh, Marysville, Plumboro. North for sales, North Huntington, just to name a few, and there's many others, guys. So, uh, heading down towards Rush Valley Road and uh, Briar Chris Drive is off of that. Uh, hopefully, we get down there, get this dropped off, and uh, on our way to the second DoorDash drop off, then we'll drop off this Uber Eats. I already messaged the Uber Eats driver. Already, I already messaged the Uber Eats customer. I'm the driver. You're the customer. <laughs> but that's a good thing. And I'm on my way.
So anyhow, guys, be smart uh, on these trips. L really look at your trips. See what you're getting. Know what you're getting in your base fare and on your tips. Figure that dollar to mile ratio in there when you're putting this together so that you get the best bang for your buck and uh, you just don't want to be taking those crap trips that have virtually no tip in there and oh so we're going to be turning off here in a little less than a half mile right up above here on Rush Valley Road Got a story to share with you too later about a, uh, I guess a DoorDash customer, and uh, see what you feel about it, and also you can leave me comments, and then we can discuss it and talk about it. Uh, Rush Valley Road's right here at the light, so we're going to be turning off as soon as we get through the light here. For our first drop off and actually we'll be right on time guys on this first one take the next right onto rush valley road then turn left onto harvard road take the next left onto harvard road coming up to harvard road here and in briarcrest Feet, turn right onto Briarcrest Drive. Briarcrest is right down below here, so it's a nice area. It drives Take into the next right onto Briarcrest Drive, then your destination will be on the left. Can I go in there? I have a delivery, a uh, food delivery in there. Uh, let me see what add. Uh, 109, which should be just like one of them few. On this side? Yeah, and then I, I can back out. Thanks. Head northwest on Briarcrest Drive. Why would they order food on a road that they're paving? In 200 feet, you will arrive at your destination.
Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. You also. Oh, you ought to be kidding me. Okay, guys, that was a very crazy delivery. They were paving the road. The heat, you could just feel it coming off the roads. Uh, I don't believe he should have even ordered knowing that was going on because they actually deserve to be paid way more than what he was we're going to go do the uh, delivery to Charles here because the other one is going further so we're going to take this over to Lilac Drive we're going to come back up Haymaker to the other side Stay with me, guys. Okay, guys, we just dropped off uh, Charles Uber Eats. And, uh, let him know. Thanks, Charles, for your order and your patience. It's at your front door. Have a good day. south on Lilac Drive. In 300 feet, turn left onto Azalea Drive. Take the next left onto Azalea Drive. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Garden City Drive. I'm on my way with your food. I don't know if you knew that you ordered from the Monroeville location, but it's going to take me a little bit to get there. In 600 feet, turn right to stay on Garden City Drive. Take the next right to stay on Garden City Drive, then turn right onto Center Road. Take the next right onto Center Road. In 600 feet, turn... Yes, so I just got your food, and uh, it's going to take me a bit to get over there from Monroeville, so just so you know, wanted to keep you in a loop, and thank for your patience. Head southwest on Center Road toward US-22, Business East, then turn right onto US-22, Business West. Next right onto US 22 Business West. In a quarter mile, slight right onto Northern Pike. So, anyhow, the girl says, it's, I, I've got to take this other door dash into Duquesne, which I don't like to really go in that area. I don't prefer it, and uh, come on, ma'am. So, I let her know 
that she ordered from the Monroeville location. She didn't know she did. So that's the, the mistake a lot of customers do. They order from the wrong location. Then they want to get on the driver wanting to know why it's taking so long. Well, I let her know so that that don't come back on me. And I told her it's going to take me a bit to get over there. So we got 10.4 miles over to her. Had I known that that was an act, it came as an add-on, so it didn't really show it. Had I known I was going there, I, I wouldn't accepted it. But we have the food now, and uh, so we're on our way. The thing too, it takes me away from my area when things are busy, and uh, so I kind of lose out on any trips that I may have gotten if I was doing more local trips. But anyhow, guys, it is what it is. Uh, you can't change it. You can't do nothing about it. So we're on our way to take her that. And our goal is to get back here as quick as possible. West on US 22, Business West toward Duff Road. So feet, stay tuned for the uh, drop off, guys. So, anyhow, guys, uh, I'm just wishing now that I wouldn't have accepted that add on. Most add ons are good. Uh, this particular add on uh, got me as soon as I was going into Permanis to pick up the one, they added it on and asked me if I wanted it. And so, you don't get to see the traditional map or where you're actually taking it I it came in so quick and started counting down that I just I grabbed it being that I was there not realizing so just one of the things that just happens sometimes a lot of times add-ons are great sometimes add-ons aren't that great so I'm just comparing them for you to understand uh, I made her aware that she thought she ordered at a different from Annie's that was closer to her and I let her know, no, you ordered from the Monroeville location. So that's kind of where we're at with it right now. And um, I still have five miles to go to get this to her. My goal is to get right back this way, try to get as many uh, pickups and uh, trip requests, good trip requests as possible. So sometimes that's ha that happens, and uh, most add-ons are good. This time particularly, uh, this one's just really going out a little further, so. So like any good driver, uh, we got our food and we're going to do the Renegade Gig Hustle over to her and get this to her, even though I don't like the area and anything like that, so. Sometimes what Uber Eats and DoorDash does is when you're getting like a stacked order, they'll show you the one that's closest and not actually show you the other trip, which is considered a hidden trip, although you can see the fare and whatever the tip's going to be, and you end up going much further than you would ever want to go. Uh, to do that particular delivery and you'll find out too that usually the fare or whatever wasn't worth it to do it to begin with then other times sometimes the customer will add more to the tip because you got their food and came their way so I'm hoping this is the case here but you don't always know Oh, 
all you can really do is grin and bear it and get it done which is what I do so regardless of the fact that you know it was going so much further than I and I wouldn't I don't normally take trips over in that area because of a lot of reasons mainly safety issues and whatnot but let's hope to just get this delivered and out of there and back this way getting a lot of over each trips not that they're all good uh, there's a lot of crap trips coming in there but So we got 2.7 miles yet. Uh, it's probably going to take me up the Duquesne ramp. In a quarter mile, slide right onto the ramp to Pennsylvania 837 Duquesne. Just as I suspected. Continue for one and a half miles. Not far off right now, guys. Five minutes. I think she's. St I'm still going to be on time for her drop off. So, and DoorDash shouldn't penalize me for nothing, even if I was, because I did accept uh, an add-on with limited time. So. up here right onto South 2nd Street, then turn left onto Kennedy Avenue. Take the next left onto Kennedy Avenue. Come on. In half a mile, turn left onto Wilmot Street.
next left onto Wilmot Street. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the left. destination is on the left. The customer requested you leave the order at their door. They added the following instructions. Leave at my door. Five twenty five and no tips. Head southwest on Barber Street toward Peter Street, then turn right onto Peter Street. Take the next right onto Peter Street, then turn right onto Kennedy Avenue. Take the next right onto Kennedy Avenue. Continue on Kennedy Avenue for half a mile. So we got that dropped off guys, and another reason I wished I would have never taken it, it didn't get much on the fare and the girl never gave me a tip at all. So there was no tip included, so very wrong of DoorDash, DoorDash needs to get back where customers set a certain tip and can't remove it. Had I known this, it's no trip, no tip, no tip, no trip. So. Sometimes we get burned, guys, and that was one there that knew she wasn't tipping me or nothing, and <coughs> I will be contacting DoorDash to handle this, and I will be letting them know I expect them to give me the tip. So, not a great trip, not a good trip, not a trip I would normally do. This is why I don't accept uh, trips in certain areas because of those reasons. But I'm holding DoorDash liable for that, for taking me on a wild goose chase over here. It's not usually like that on me, but every now and then you get that once. So, I will be holding DoorDash uh, liable for giving me. Take the next right onto South First Street, then turn left onto Library Place. Some kind of reasonable tip. Turn left onto Library Place, then turn right. On I will Central be Kingdom. having it out with DoorDash on this one. With all the money that DoorDash got, that's the least they can do. to South Duquesne Boulevard. Continue on South Duquesne Boulevard for three quarters of a mile. So, any of you guys that are local that know me, that see me, stay from this area because 
it's a no tip zone. It's a no tip area. I accommodated her in every way by accepting it, messaging her, letting her know, communicating with her, and so not good. Let's move on guys. I'll handle this with DoorDash. Right now we're just going to get back to our area and uh, we're going to deal with it and move on because that's all we can do. Stay with me. Okay guys, I'm back in Monroeville. I'm back in my hotspot and for a long while I've been driving back here and I've been having it out with DoorDash on here on support because they're refusing to give me a tip and I told them it's wrong of them to put me into a dangerous zone a danger dangerous delivery with treacherous roads to risk my life and get no tip and I'm trying to hold them accountable and they're refusing to give me a tip see that's where DoorDash is wrong it's all wrong that's why drivers are leaving The whole algorithm on the system is wrong. And it's us drivers who always gets penalized. Had I seen that trip properly before I took it as an add-on, I would have never took it. That's a no-tipper. And as far as I'm concerned, they're garbage. So when you say DoorDash gives 100% of the tips, you're wrong. Because I got no tip. What is your name? And what is your ranking? You know all my information. I have the right to know yours. What is your name? Okay, great. Thank you. You have a good one. Okay guys, we got an Uber Eats. Turn left, then turn right. 
up here at the Dairy Queen. I'm just a little upset right now with DoorDash. Turn left on Oxford it's totally Drive. wrong what they do and how they do it. And right now, just trying to move on now. It's wrong. They won't give me the tip. They won't compensate me. So. And on top of it, they're sending me in a crap garbage trip. Well, I really believe that they're worse than uh, Uber Eats, so, at this point. Just ahead, turn right up in Robo Boulevard. We got 20 minutes till lunch rush is over, but I, I don't know how many trips that that long one there took away from us, but we're just trying to move on now, and I'm uh, coming to the Dairy Queen here now, and uh, turn right. see if we can just do Uber Eats. Turn right, then pick up on the right. But... I'm pulling up here. I'm going to go in and retrieve the order. You guys stay with me here and I'll be right back. The pickup from the Dairy Queen. And she also gave me a new driver card to get punched every time I pick up. I still got my other filled up one here for the blizzard. So yeah, make sure you get your driver card when you go in. And when you get it filled up, every time you go in, you get it punched. When you get five, you get the free blizzard. So, Just ahead for Feet Street on Monroe, I think I'm going to use that when my granddaughter comes this weekend. And uh, get her a blizzard. For Feet Street on Monroeville Road. So we're taking this, it's not far, it's five minutes, 2.4 miles. We're taking this over to 4, 413 Roof Street. They're saying in Monroeville, so. Sorry about that guys, I sometimes think I pause my camera. So taking this down to, uh, we're going to get on the Patton Street extension. For that, yeah, so if you get whatever they, they do, they put that on, you know. In a quarter mile turn left on Patton Street Extension. For this, yeah. You can if you don't see it, you know. It doesn't have to be just that, you know.
So anyhow, I'm going to turn down here on Thomas Street for the uh, for the drop off. Third Street for the drop off. We're almost at the drop off. Turn down here on Third Street. In a quarter mile, turn right on Third Street. And then this Roof Street turns right off of that, so she looks like she's right on the right. Third Street right down below us. Turn right on Third Street. It looks like it might be Turn that. Turn left on Ruth Street, then drop off. We're at 413. We want 413 guys, that's 425. Drop off. 413. Let's see if I gotta get a picture. I gotta get a picture of the drop off, so. Be right back guys. Thanks for your order. It's at your front door. Have a great day. Okay, we completed that, guys. It's now almost up to where lunch is over. here. Come back up Patton Street.
gonna come back up into our area and see if we can get anything more guys it's still one of those days guys uh, <clears throat> it's right after the lunch I'm not really I'm over in North for sales now I'm not really getting many trips uh, anything else on over each DoorDash for the moment and uh, it's just one of those days it's not coming together like you you want it to so and uh, for the weekend here into tomorrow and uh, see how it goes and uh, usually that's when I really put it together so I'm probably going to go do other things now go home and do some other things I need to do it's very humid very hot sticky and so it's just not one of those days that was consistent through the time that I was here and uh, it just tells me what's where I'm really at with the day so um, so I will be back tomorrow I wish you guys all the best hope you're having a better day uh, it's all right on my end I'm okay uh, I'm just it's bringing me uh, just closer every time understanding the way that Uber Eats has changed DoorDash has changed that's part of my talk with you about adapting accepting the way things are and you change the things you can and uh, you find new ways of doing things uh, but one day you have the not so grave a day you come to the next and it's a whole different it's a whole different uh, ball game so but best to all you guys and uh, I'll see you on my video tomorrow until then take care peace progress